Here's a recent article out by Science Alert that might explain a few things. The ghost of an unknown extinct human has been found in DNA of modern West Africans. The gene pool of modern West Africans contains the ghost of a mysterious hominid. Unlike any we've detected so far, similar to how humans and Neanderthals once mated, new research suggests that this ancient long-lost species may have once mingled with our ancestors on the African continent. Using whole genome-wide data from present-day West Africans, scientists have found a small portion of genetic material that appears to come from this mysterious lineage, which is thought to have split off from the human family tree even well before Neanderthals. Today it's thought, although still being debated, that anatomically modern humans originated in Africa and that once these populations migrated to Europe and Asia they interbred with closely related species such as Neanderthals and Denisovans were well aware of this. As such modern West Africans like populations in Yoruba and Mende do not possess genes from either of these ancient species like the rest of humanity does of Neanderthals and Denisovans. but that doesn't mean that there was no intermixing. In fact, recent evidence suggests that the genetic past of West Africans may contain a similarly juicy narrative. The idea is hard to confirm because ancient human remains in DNA are scarce uh, on the African continent and even harder to find in West Africa. Unfortunately, there is one way to get an idea of how ancient humans mix that doesn't involve studying remains, modern genomics. Researchers decided to compare 405 modern genomes from the Yoruba and Mende populations with genomes from Neanderthals and Denisovans. To their surprise, they also found traces of another, yet as unknown, ancient hominin species in their genomes. This is why they call it a ghost species, because it's not Neanderthal or Denisovan, it's some other primitive hominid species. Similar to how modern humans outside of Africa still hold traces of Neanderthal genes, the authors found populations in West Africa derive between 2 and 19 percent of their genetic ancestry from this as yet undiscovered ancient hominin. So it isn't the one and a half on an average percent of Neanderthal that people have, uh, I guess that you would call Europeans and such, or uh, the up to 6 percent maximum that you would probably see in oriental type people of Neanderthals or even the amount of Denisovan material that have been found in people such as the Australian Aborigines and the island people as we know of them. Interestingly this isn't the first time the ghost species of an unknown extinct ancestors have been found in modern DNA Researchers looking at Eurasian DNA have previously found traces of at least three as yet undiscovered ancient hominins in in modern human genomes, but this is a first for modern West African DNA, and again, it appears in no one else's DNA. It is something different, and it's a different ideal than the fact that they're lacking Neanderthal DNA or Denisovan ancestry. It's its own separate entity. These findings are supported by several other studies that suggest that there have been multiple interbreeding events between archaic, meaning old or ancient, and modern human populations in Africa. There's a few papers that are out on this. I may do a video on on this here in a short while after this, but they're indicating on these papers that some of this species that we think of, like Homo erectus and so on, that are extremely archaic, lived on much longer than we previously thought, and then there are some showings of interbreeding, or what appear to be some type of half-breed between a modern human and some archaic species, which appears to have been an unknown ghost hominid, at least in one form of integration. This is known as genetic integration, but while it's become a popular theory, exactly where, when, and to what extent this mixing occurred is unknown. In the fossil record, modern humans show up to around 200,000 years ago, but in parts of sub-Saharan Africa and fossils 
A few of them have been found with a mix of archaic and modern features that are only 35,000 years old. So this indicates that perhaps an archaic species was able to live separated up under the Sahara there for a period of time and some of these events are going on at 35,000 years old. But one thing I have to ingress right here into it is that Asilar man is the oldest known person with a phenotype of the Negroid species as we would know and it dates to 4400 BC. It's the oldest one. They have found skeletons of that type from before but then again they have a mix going on in their really a proto type form and the oldest of those I believe has been found at Iwo Aliru at 9100 BC so still from this 3500 years old to there we don't have any connectives but it's looking like it has a connective to something in some aggression to some homo species that lived on in sub-Saharan Africa one interpretation of the recent uh, time of intergression is that we document is that archaic forms persisted in Africa until fairly recently the authors of a new su study suggest which I might go into in a separate thing separate video alternatively the archaic population could have intergressed earlier somehow and then kept itself in a state but that doesn't seem to be the case whenever you read the other paper so much. In the end, neither is mutually exclusive, but the authors say we will need more analysis of African genomes across the continent before we can understand the true makeup of their ancestors. The study was published in Science Advances. It's here. We could go and check that out. So, interesting. The uh, skull that's shown up here is not actually from this event or whatever. This is known as the Broken Hill Skull, and it's unrelated to the discovery that itself. <coughs> but quite interesting. This came out in February of 2020, and I was waiting around to see if uh, some authors and geneticists and so on would weigh in on this and try to give a little bit more thoughts to it than what was even displayed in the paper here. But we find a lack of people seeming to wanting to even touch this, but for reasons we could probably understand in a modern society that we currently go through. Let me know what you think down in the comments and we'll keep up with this as we find more and more about it. Peace.